Coronation Street viewers have been left heartbroken over Paul Foreman's most recent storyline on the soap, with the character's health deteriorating after a shocking motor neuron disease diagnosis. This came after Paul revealed he was abused by his mum's former partner as a child and since then things have gotten even more dramatic on the cobbles for him amid plans for assisted suicide and a surprise proposal to to his partner, Billy Mayhew. The character has been a fixture on the show since 2018, and is played by actor Peter Ash. Thankfully the 38-year-old's real life away from the cameras is very different from Paul's. Manchester-born Peter is enjoying a loved-up life with his girlfriend of four years, Amy, who works as a nurse, and his son Aidan, who is 12. The couple regularly share sweet snaps together online, posting to celebrate their anniversaries, date nights and trips away to places such as Belfast and York. In one funny snap of the pair, Pete shared their attempt at the iconic upside-down Spider-Man kiss with Pete hanging upside down while Amy gave him a smooch. The star has also shared a number of proud photos of his son including ones of them on holiday at the beach, others playing video games together and one of the youngster dressed up in a Marvel outfit and opening a PlayStation 5 on his 12th birthday. There are other snaps of Father's Day cards and gifts and cute throwback photos of Aiden in his younger years, with the actor saying he is so blessed to have an amazing son. Outside of this, Peter's family also includes another famous face with his cousin being actor William Ash, who is currently playing Caleb Milligan on Immerdale. The star is also known for his playing Spike on Corey was he was 10, and also for portraying Chris Mead in Waterloo Road. And his cousin isn't the only one who has appeared in other soaps, with Peter's first big role being on Footballers Wives as soon as he finished his A-levels aged 17. He played Darius Fry between 2003 and 2006, alongside fellow Corey star Ben Price as Conrad Gates. But once the show ended he soon found himself dropped back down to earth with a bang, and the reality of life as an out-of-work actor. In between footballers' wives and Corey I was what you'd call a jobbing actor really, he explained to The Mirror last year. I had some amazing acting jobs, but they were here and there spread out. In between I was doing day jobs like bar work, working in call centers. Most of the time as an actor you are out of work. That is why I feel so lucky now to be involved in this show. It is regular work and it is the first time in my life I have done regular acting work for over a year. But you have to do other stuff in between to pay the bills. I was a driver for a while, picking up cars and driving them around the country. You do anything and everything, but you also have to find something flexible so that you can go for auditions, and then if you get a job you might need a few weeks off for filming. So it is hard, as there aren't many jobs where you can do that. Peter appeared in night TV crime drama Blue Murder in 2003, before he landed a six-episode role in Casualty later that year. He then went on to have roles in The Royal, The Street, and White Van Man, but his first involvement in Soapland was actually in a rival show, as he appeared in four episodes of Hollyoaks as Harley Fratter's acquaintance Ron. Peter has been playing Paul for more than two years now, despite it initially seeming like it would be a shorter part. It was a weird one. Initially, the part was only three episodes as David Platt's cellmate. I was made up for that, just to have three episodes on Corey was amazing, he explained. Then it was a bit later in the year and my agent said they were interested in bringing Paul back who was going to be Gemma's brother. 
I was blown away. It was brilliant news. The star has since won praise for the handling of his role. The character was struggling to use his hand after a motorbike crash earlier in the year, and thought he had sustained a nerve injury. But as his issues continued and he struggled to grip things, tests confirmed he was suffering from Airman D. He asked Billy to help him travel to Switzerland to help him end his life. The priest refused and Paul discovered the cost would be more than £13,000. That provoked a change of heart, and he popped the question to Billy instead as Summer walked into the flat to greet them. Coronation Street has been working on the storyline with the motor neuron disease, Airman D, association whose experts have been advising the soap's researchers, scriptwriters, and actors since last autumn to ensure it is an accurate portrayal. Talking about portraying the physical effects of the illness, Paul Starpeter, 38, previously said, I've been eased into it. It started with Paul's hand but I'm very aware as the time goes on and as the symptoms progress, it'll get a lot more technical. So I'm sure as the symptoms pile up, I'm going to be speaking a lot more with the M&D Association to make sure we get it all right. It's quite a journey that he'll be going on, he added, especially when you're playing a character with an illness or a condition. Terry's so much responsibility to get it right, not to cheapen it and to represent it properly. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.